In pop culture usually show only the most spectacular and awe-inspiring destruction of our planet, remember the asteroid from the movie Armageddon, or alien invasion in Independence Day. The story of Lake Toba even more sinister. The largest lake on the Indonesian island of Sumatra has become a place of powerful volcanic eruption, which occurred 75 million years ago. In its place appeared a huge pit, which gradually filled with water. The Garosa that the global environmental crisis of those times brought humanity to the brink of extinction, however, scientists have questioned this theory. The prospect supervolcano eruption, of course, scares however, it need not worry. The probability that in 2019 we will witness a natural disaster, the eruption of the volcano, the collision of an asteroid with the Earth or exploding stars in space, not more than in any other year. And it is unlikely that at all. For example, the World Health Organization and the World Economic Forum called climate change and its implications one of the main risks 2019. At the same time, many scholars, particularly the British naturalist David Attenborough, believe that this can lead to the collapse of civilization and extinction of the greater part of the planet. The scenarios are different from the creation of cyber weapons with virtually unlimited capacity, which could steal and store the data of the whole country for ransom, to the autonomous control algorithms that could unintentionally lead to the collapse of the stock market. Now the center of attention, the increasing tension between world powers, but do not forget that the latest technology can make us even more defenseless. Another factor or ever-growing risk of a global pandemic. It is believed that the flu kills an average of 700,000 people and costs the global economy $500 billion a year. The number and mobility of the world population is steadily increasing, which contributes to the spread of new strains of influenza virus. Therefore, scientists fear a repetition of the pandemic flu, which in 1918 swept the whole planet and was called the Spanish or Spanish flu. If the disease has claimed the lives of nearly 50 million people, the Earth's population is nearly 8 billion. People need clean air, clean water and quality food. Resource for this she takes in nature, turning on the goods and services. However, natural resources are not limitless. Reduction of biodiversity, overload of infrastructure and supply chain, all of that suggests that we are approaching the border. And rapid climate change only exacerbates the situation. The same, you may want to define global risks for the size of the disaster, which they caused, and a possibility of injury to vital natural systems. In 2010 due to the eruption of the Icelandic volcano Ejafjallajökull, no one died, but six days was completely closed European airspace. 2017 for a cyber attack is relatively simple virus the extortion of WannaCry partially stopped working within the National Health Service in the UK and other organizations around the world. Because our private life and work are entirely dependent on electrical, computing and internet systems, everything that causes them harm, from a solar flare of a nuclear explosion in the atmosphere can cause very great harm to us. There is an old legend about the Danish King Kenneth, who ordered the sea to retreat, although he knew that would not be able to hold back the surf. Like impotence can easily encompass us, when we think about a possible future disaster.